The southwest of England is a peninsula and catches the full force of waves crossing the Atlantic. So it's an ideal location for research into wave generated energy, one of the most viable of renewable resources. One example of this is the Orcom project, a spin out from research undertaken at the University of Plymouth. Orcon uh, came about through the development of a, uh, of a couple of uh, research projects involving two researchers, particularly looking at the development of a point absorber wave energy device and also someone looking at the environmental uh, requirements for wave energy. And at the end of their um, research projects, the, the two graduates involved uh, developed that into a spin out company. Fraser Johnson has developed a multi chambered wave energy converter that can be anchored offshore and automatically tunes itself to different wave frequencies, maximizing the use of energy transmitted by the rise and fall of the waves. Um, the unit we've got um, is based on an oscillating water column principle where we have a, a fixed chamber in the water. Um, and Within that we have a, a mass of water that uh, as, a, as a wave comes forward causes that the water within the chamber to move up and down to rise and fall within a, within a reference chamber. Above that we have a, an air cushion and we force that air cushion out through an air turbine as the water rises and then we suck it back in through the air turbine as the water falls. Originally tested in the largest seawater basin in Europe at Brest in France, Orcon is still in the development stage but a prototype has been field tested and early results are encouraging. Typically located 6 to 10 miles offshore in order to have a minimum water depth of 50 metres, a single unit has an installed capacity of 1 megawatt, enough to power a thousand homes. The simplicity of the unit makes it perfectly suited for use around the world. Because we include these multiple chambers, the, the device can be matched or tuned to any type of wave climate, be it, be it the UK, be it Portugal, uh, moving down through Africa, west coast of America and South America, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, all these areas um, where you have wave action turning up on a beach or a cliff face. Anywhere of those, those type of locations you can put a wave energy device. Dean Miller at the neighbouring University of Exeter in Cornwall is also working on a source of renewable energy that taps into wave power. It's very important for us to find new sources of energy and in, in particular to make the most of the renewable energy resources which are available on the planet. Um, the reason for that is that the, the, there is a link with uh, climate change and the emissions of um, uh, gases from industrial processes, most of which are linked to the use of fossil fuels. But um, the Another reason is because those resources of fossil fuels are finite and um, eventually they'll get used up. His research focuses on the dramatic North Cornwall coastline, an area that has been extensively mined since Roman times. Here a natural sea cave connects with mine workings via two shafts and a horizontal drainage tunnel or adit. Waves enter a naturally formed gully in the side of the cliffs and push in towards the cave. Air is propelled through the shafts and along the adit. Then, as the wave retreats, air is sucked back into the cave. Sensors have been installed in the shaft to monitor airflow and have recorded air being forced out through the shaft at speeds in excess of 100 metres per second. By installing a self-rectifying turbine in the mine, one that could make use of this two-way flow, this energy could be harnessed to create electricity. And its use isn't restricted to coastlines where these features already exist. The power conversion concept will work if one were to develop one's own uh, shaft, a custom shaft, using the latest in mining technology. And that is a development which we are working on here at the University of Exeter in Cornwall. Fossil fuels are an increasingly expensive, finite resource contributing to global warming. Wave energy is clean, constant and freely available. Is this the future of energy development?